<laughs> well, now it's time for all the latest from the world of sport. Actually, no, it's not. Sport isn't news, it's sport. And look at it, it's rubbish. Bollocks to sport and bollocks to everyone who likes it. Of course, the inherent problem with the news is that it's usually bloody boring. The storylines are slow and often depressing. It's sometimes difficult to understand and the cast has all the vivacious sex appeal of a clammy-browed sales rep blowing off after a corned beef sandwich. All of which is box office poison. So what does the news do? Well, it pretends it isn't boring with all manner of unnecessary garnish. News graphics used to be handcrafted Blue Peter style creations that made everything look a bit like the lowest budget war movie ever made. Even further on, a growing Soviet Indian Ocean fleet already has facilities in Aden, the capital of Marxist South Yemen. And tonight, that fleet is being reinforced by another squadron from the Pacific port of Vladivostok. Then in the 80s, computer graphics arrived and designers went to town with their new set of toys. Wow, it's incredible! Crazy! Cool, bright, edgy, educational, intense, gosh, Christ, wow, Jesus, ace, brill, skill, fab, woo, ah, ee, mm, uh, ee, oh, ooh. Today, news graphics have developed into a bombastic art form. Trouble is, they're so whizzy, they actively distract you from the information they're supposed to convey. Our defence correspondent, Jeff Mead, has the story. Hmm, looking at this, it's hard not to wonder if news has lost its way. News reporting is supposed to consist largely of the six W's. Who, what, where, when, why and how. How doesn't start with a W, but it ends with one, so it still counts. Essentially, if you answer all those questions, you've covered the full story and the viewer goes away informed. But today there's a seventh W, whoa, and whoa takes precedence over all the others. Whoa! Look at those graphics! Whoa! Listen to that dramatic music! Whoa! F***ing hell! Live pictures! Today, even the newsroom sets have evolved into absurdist sci-fi cathedrals of light. The BBC favours a huge room resembling a holodeck, so huge the floor managers can't even run out of the way in time before the news starts. Sky, meanwhile, has a gaudy red and blue approximation of CTU from 24, with screens on every surface imaginable. Even the desk where they can beam summaries of every f***ing sentence as they're being spoken aloud, presumably, so you can desperately cling to some sense of what the hell's going on. Actually, I quite like Sky's massive screen because it sometimes coughs out some pretty surreal imagery. ITV set is the stupidest. It's a cross between a virtual aircraft hangar and the movie Tron. There's still a desk, of course, but now it glows. And there's also a strange sort of symbol on the floor. It's like a mystic rune or a crop circle. Look, I've tried drawing it. Look, what does that mean? I keep expecting to be abducted one day by stormtroopers wearing that symbol on their arms. When it was a boring bloke sitting at a boring desk being boring, the news was easy to ignore if you didn't want to pay attention to it. But now it's so dramatically packaged it can lead to a sense of panic. 